white and black attack. The Orca. Once the featured attraction at marine mammal parks, now have a new favorite trick, killing things. Perhaps having gone too far with her pranks and hijinks, is now the subject of a county-wide shot. got their fish fingers. Who could say I got a real keen eye for talent? Although, the wheelers really gotta work on those side aerials. Ocean waters are driven constantly by tides, currents, and Saudi owned soup. The shark returns to the grotto to focus on personal transformation. Hunt ends, but this is a mere pause in the eternal struggle between man and nature.
coastal overdevelopment creates a riskier, more complex local environment. This shark understands that she needs to eat essential minerals to stay healthy and grow. should consider returning to the water. Poor Chloe has really been sprouting up these past few years. Put some of my own money in this. It's gonna be a lazy tag fun part. Toast of the Coast, Lieutenant Shannon Sims. Logical apocalypse are valid. You should see Exico Petroleum's previous quarter's earnings. The ocean is a source of life, inspiration, and eternal renewal. But mostly it exists to be exploited and commodified by humans. that someday, someone here is going to get a sizable check from the National Flood Insurance Program. Using her quickness, 
The bull shark is able to escape serious injury. a distinctive smell, that of sea salt, nitrogen oxides, and an injury. The bull shark is able to attain larger maximal sizes through some of the feet. This is quite a find. Although, that depends on the gold market, which has really been underperforming lately. I blame the Fed, of course, but what can you do? Human's attention spans are short. They've already forgotten about the shark and her many crimes, so spends the bounty. The predatory scavenger is often quite content to dine on whatever waste is falling. Much of the sand in the parrotfish's range is actually pulverized, undigested coral they excrete after grazing the reefs for algae. bull sharks is anything they can cram in their gaping maw. Supercharged with gene-altering mutagens, the shark now has an asymmetric edge on the competition. Insatiable fish, the bull shark is nine tenths appetite. Giant monsters, or kaiju, occasionally visit Port Clovis to pregame before destroying more worthwhile cities.
The bull retreats to the grotto for refuge and quiet reflection. The vicious rover is always swimming, searching for anything to satisfy the gluttony that is their defining trait. A great way to discourage museum attendance is to put your museum underwater. The sight of this shark is nearly insatiable. Head sharks.
circular staircases and a mosaic swimming pool, the Chatelaine is still only Port Clovis's second most ostentatious yacht. It's another unsuccessful shark hunt for the people of Port Clovis. sometimes use the ocean surface to trap its prey.
Once more, the shark turns back to this place of centered calm. might eat now, but later it may regurgitate the contents of its stomach to escape the predator. oil tank is spilling. But it brings a lot of money into the economy. Can't argue with that. Let's move. is an animal of broad dietary proclivities. For Clovis has long been a popular dumping ground for the military, thanks to its lenient regulations and low tipping fees. Joe's. For 
It seems Port Clovis has forgotten all about its rogue shark. No one knows who built this mysterious underwater base, but odds are they probably own a Nehru jacket and a Persian cat. No one can tell what may be found in a shark's stomach. It's truly the ocean's garbage. The powers of society have retaliated with deterrent action, but mankind is ultimately impotent to stop Mother Nature's vengeance. of the grotto enables the shark to approach the world with greater confidence and effectiveness.
oceans of dynamiting sharks for a living. Assassin, the sperm whale. Kyle he was really into scuba back when he was a teenager. This museum's the first place I took him after when he got certified. ran on sperm whale oil. Now we can only watch them from afar, dreaming of tapping their skulls for all that sweet spermaceti. A quiet space is the ideal stage for the shark to meditate and harness her pure potentiality.